So this is just another day here. This is an O2 Mini Cooper. It's a clutch. This clutch was just done and uh, it doesn't shift for squat. But if you're gonna be doing this clutch, here's what you're in for. It sucks. Now you can do, I'm sure there's flat ways to flat rate this, but I take my time. I, I couldn't care less. Everything's apart, everything's organized, and it'll fall right out of there with everything removed. Discharge the AC, etc. But check this out. Here's what I found. Now this was replaced at some point because they painted it, but it's broken, broken down there, and it's broken up here. And what I suspect that they did is this shift fork broke, tried to weld it while it broke again. I believe they tried to beat, as you can see, it's been hit on. They tried to beat this pin out and the way this sits like this in there and look how it broke. And then obviously it's gonna, you know, there's tension on there as well. And if the bushing, the bushing wasn't there, or the, you know, who knows? But anyway, I came in this morning and I thought of different creative ways to press that out without putting any sort of like a force on this case. And I'm replacing it. What do I care? I cut the thing off. Used a cut off wheel, pull it right out of there. But good luck finding this transmission and they want a grip for it. This car, what is this thing worth? So believe it or not, the dealer stocked this. It's in stock. Uh, I got it right here. Let me just open this thing up here. But what do you know? I don't have a new bushing for the bottom, so now I got to get that. So this was in stock. So it's got a bronze bushing on that one there. I ordered plastic ones, so I don't know. I think I like that brown one's better uh, for the bottom with it being broke. But anyway, it's just going to roll in there. We'll see. Uh, I just got to feel comfortable doing, doing this, but it'll go in there. I'm going to replace everything. I'm only going in here one time. They were cool with that. That's the only way I'm doing it. So fresh fluid. We'll get some replacement axle seals and I'll get it put back together. But this was not a how-to video. But if you can deduce from this, you've got an idea. It is easy. This is an easy clutch, but it takes time. And the best way to do it is just get everything out of the way. <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's the best way. You're going to want to support uh, the steering rack, your uh, steering pump. Just support it. You know, easy peasy. But um, this is what you may run into. Junk like this that I couldn't foresee without taking it out. So this thing's back together now. All good, drives wonderful. We've done the flywheel, clutch kit, axle shaft seals, slave cylinder, shift fork, bushing, and then the deflection arm cut it off and it went back as a core to the dealership. But uh, I'm happy to see it go and uh, what do you know? I got another one out there, it needs a clutch. So we'll be at it again.